Good morning. Michael here. Trust that you're having a great morning. Ready to get up and go. Conquer the world. Have victory after victory. Be blessed coming and be blessed going from the north, the south, the east and the west. God be praised. And today's meditation is coming from Genesis 17 verse 7. And we're using the Spurgeon Archives. And it's subheaded here, Covenant Reaches Children. And the verse reads, And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. So Spurgeon expounds, O Lord, thou hast made a covenant with me, thy servant, in Christ Jesus my Lord. And now I beseech thee, let my children be included in its gracious provisions. Permit me to believe this promise as made to me, as well as to Abraham. I know that my children are born in sin and shapen in iniquity, even as those of other men. Therefore I ask nothing on the ground of their birth, for well I know that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and nothing more. Lord, make them to be born under thy covenant of grace by thy Holy Spirit. I pray for my descendants throughout all generations. Be thou their God as thou art mine. My highest honor is that thou hast permitted me to serve thee. May my offspring serve thee in all years to come. O God of Abraham, be the God of his Isaac. O God of Hannah, accept her Samuel. If, Lord, thou hast favored me in my family, I pray thee, remember all the households of thy people, which remain unblessed. Be the God of all the families of Israel. Let not one of those who fear thy name be tried with a godless and wicked household. For thy Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Yes, indeed. It's good to know you have a covenant promise of God for your children. And that blessing could continue from generation to generation. God be praised. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Michael here. Just declaring again that Jesus is Lord. Be blessed. Until next time.